Okay, this is part two of our, our three-part video on uh, how to cape a buck, skin a buck. Only measurements I take on this animal when it is sitting here is I go from the, not, the eye, the corner of the eye, to the end of the nose. And this buck is about seven and three quarters. There's a little card uncle right there. It's real hard. That's where you want to go from, not the skin. And I get that measurement. And then I start skinning it. And, uh, and then we measure the neck underneath the cape. That's how you know what size to get. So I'll start with this. And I like to do a reverse seven. You can do it any way you want. Out west, they will do a Y cut. And it's all the same principle. The only difference, a Y cut, you would cut down to here from the back of the antler burr down to here and then go this way. I do a reverse seven cut. The reason I do that, I can keep my seam short. And when I'm sewing them up, I use one thread. I don't have to stop and retie knots. Um, I can just go with one thread and just sew it all up. So it works out better for us here in the shop. So first thing you want to do is cut straight across, skin right under that burr, make sure that you've got clear under there, both sides. And you can do this different ways. You can use a knife and just keep at it. I like to use a screwdriver and a little rubber mallet. And I put it right underneath the burr and just tap and work it out of there. If you haven't got it, go back and make sure you got it cut right. If it's not cut, it won't peel out of there very good. Once you get it coming, it'll start coming pretty good. And then just work your screwdriver around there, just like that. Just peel it right around. Same thing back here. I'm gonna just go a little ways on that because I wanna make another cut. I wanna show you where I'm gonna make that cut. So I'm gonna skin this out a little bit. Give me some room. Then I'm gonna put it under this side, right under the burr. You wanna be careful you don't break the burr or something. You're just trying to pop the skin loose underneath of it. Once you get it started around there, then go back and start skinning so you got room. Just keep working your way around. Okay, now I'm gonna make this reverse seven cut. And this is where I told you, Depending on how much neck you left, if you left the neck clear down here this long, I'm gonna to have to make a cut clear down here to get that neck out of there. So where we've made the neck short, it's right here. I've only gotta make a seam about to here to get that out. If you leave a bunch of the neck in there, I've gotta make this big seam, then I've gotta sew that all back up, get it to look right. So it's better to keep it short. So I'm gonna do a backward seven is what I'm doing here. So I'm going like this, and then I'm gonna go over and straight down. Now, pull the hair kind of out of your way so that you're not just going to cut it all off. Otherwise, it's going to be hard for you to, when you uh, sew that up, to hide that. If your, scalp, if your scalpel gets dull or your knife, then put a new blade in it because it's easier to screw up when you're trying to push really, really hard. I'm gonna take my knife, my outdoor edge knife, and I've got it started where I want, so I'm gonna go right down that seam, and I'm gonna go up this way, that'll cut less hair. I'm just gonna go down to the end of that stump, okay? And start peeling the hide back. Come over here towards the ears, Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to get around this burr. Just peel it out of there. And then as you peel it, cut the hide that's holding it. I'm trying to pull this over here so you can see what I'm cutting on. Now this is the ear where it attaches to the head. So I just skin right over there to that. I'm not gonna do anything with that right now, but I will here in a little bit. I'm gonna come back here, skin this side off, same thing, to that ear. 
where it hooks on. Now I'm gonna go back here and get this out of my way. Just take your screwdriver and you can, some people just work your screwdriver with your fingers, you can do that. I like to use this little rubber mallet, it seems to work good for me, so. Okay, now, here's the ear. Here's where it attaches to the head. If you stick your finger in there, kind of where the end of your finger would be, right where it goes up against the head is where you want to cut. So that when cut down, keep skinning, but cut that ear right off. You'll see the ear canal in there. It's a little bit hard to see. You'll see the ear canal in there, right here. You wanna just cut that off. And then keep skinning. Skin around there. This side over here, the same thing. Cut right down, cut that ear off. If your hide's in the way, I'm gonna change my blade real quick here. If the uh, hide's in your way, go ahead and take a little time and skin some more out of the way. If your cut's not quite long enough, make, make it just a little bit longer. You wanna make sure you got room to do what you gotta do. Okay, I've got them, the ears off. Whoops. I'm gonna go around here and make sure I've got this all free. Once you get it free all the way around, go ahead and make sure your ear, put, I like to put my finger right under the ear so I know where the skin's at. And then I cut right across that. Just watch, when you start seeing the hide again, you know you're deep enough, you've got that ear cut off. And then we'll go over here and do the same thing. Get this free all the way around the antlers. Okay, and then once you got it free, go ahead and cut this ear clear off. Now, here's where you kind of decide, this is only, it's a little short cut. You start skinning back here, and this will tell you if you need a longer cut or not. Start skinning this all out, the neck. And what I like to do is flip it up. Like this cut across here and this will tell you if you can't get this out if you can't flip this like this you need to make your incision a little bit longer is all pull it down as you go try to get around here so you can see 
what I'm doing. I'm just skinning right down the neck, pulling this down as I go. And then as long as you can get it over that stump, your, your cut is golden. You don't have to make it any bigger. Just keep skinning it down. Under here is kind of tricky. Make sure you don't slit something. Now we're down to the, to the jaw here, underneath the chin. Once we get there, I like to flip it this way. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut right down here. Right here is the back of the eye. That's the tricky spot. That's where a lot of people wanna cut. Best thing I know to tell you is put your finger in the back of the eye and feel that skin where the back edge of that eye is. So that way you know when you're cutting where it's at, you're not gonna cut it off. That's the biggest problem, people cut that off. So get to the eye, stick your finger in there, right in the back, get that skin. Right here's the edge of the skin, the back of his skin. I'm gonna cut below that, right above the eye socket, right there. So I know that I'm behind I haven't cut any of that eye skin off. It's all right there because I need all that to mount it. Then I like to stick my finger right in here. So now I can see what I'm doing. Right here is that card uncle, that little, this is the thing that's in the corner of everybody's eye where I measured from. What I'm gonna do is cut right across it, not in front of it, just right across it and cut that off. And then there's a tricky spot coming up. I'm gonna get both eyes to that position and then I'll show you the tear ducts are a little bit tricky. I'll show you what you gotta do with them. Okay, so this is the tear duct. The tear duct is right in front of the eye. It's kind of like a fold of skin. That's where a lot of people make the mistake when they're skinning, they cut that off. It actually, it actually goes in and rolls like this. The bone is actually shaped like a V. So when you skin it, you wanna keep your knife up tight against this bone and skin at an angle on this side and an angle down on this side, kind of like a V, and just pick at it until you get it coming out of there. And you'll see the V, the v right here in the eye where, where, where it grows into. So just keep cutting that way. And then once you get it out of there, and you're good to go. You can go right on. What do you want? You're good. You, you do the other eye, and I'll hover over you. Right on the okay. Then we're going to skin down. The next obstacle we're going to come to is the gum line. It starts right here. You can again. You can stick your finger in its mouth. Feel where the back corner is. You want to go an inch or so past that. Cut the gum off. Just keep skinning down. And then right here, along the palate, the upper palate, you wanna cut right along the palate. Now we'll trim some of these gums up and stuff, and even in open mouth, we won't use them all. We'll just use part, but same thing over here on the other side. Let me go over here so you can see. Find where the gums are. Skin right along the jaw and that upper palate, skin it back. And I like to go from side to side as I'm going down. It just works better for me. If you try to go all on one side, sometimes it's kind of a pain, so. And then cut right along the palate. Right down here on the jaw. Just so you'll have to come back here and get some of this under the chin now. Keep cutting right along the palate, and I'll show you, you'll see better when I get it off of there exactly where I've been cutting. It's kind of hard to see now. When I get close to the end, I like to flip it over so I can see what I'm doing. I'll, I'll stand him up on end. Let's cut a little more off of here.
Now you can see I'm cutting right along the gum line on the bottom, right below the teeth. Peeling this out. There's his front teeth. Now I'm gonna go down the other side, right along the jawline, cut that off. So now here's where you can see where I'm doing with the pallet. Here's the pallet right here. You wanna cut right along the edge of it. Just an eighth inch above it. Cut clear around it when you get to this point. Okay, I've cut clear around there. So now I'm gonna flip this back up. And I'm gonna skin this on down. Then the next obstacle you're gonna have, of course, is gonna be the nose. Now, a lot of people leave plenty of nose. That's usually not a problem. What you don't wanna do is cut any holes there. So just skin it down. You could actually cut it off here right now if you're, if you're uncomfortable with it. I like to go a little farther when I'm doing them. Get it down a little bit. And then what you wanna do is cut straight down to the upper palate. Straight down, straight over, just like this. Same thing over here, straight down. So what we're doing is essentially cutting straight down to the pallet this way, and then we're coming this way. Okay. And then that'll come right off. So you'll have about that much of your septum and stuff in there, but your nose is fully intact. Okay, then once we have that off, this is when I get my neck measurement. Now, like I said, if you've cut it too, too much, you took too much meat out of there, I can still get it out of the cape. I can still measure out of the cape, but I like to, I like to at least get a neck measurement. Try to make sure it's right on there. And this will be the one that's right behind the ear holes, right behind the head, okay? You can actually take two measurements. There's one there and there's one at the atlas, which is about three inches down. That'll give you a, a swelled measurement. It'll be bigger than the one right behind the head. But that's where I kind of like to go in here with this and I can, with a uh, ruler, so you just lay it out flat so that the, the ear skin where you sewed it up is touching. You don't want to stretch way out of whack. Just come in here with your ruler and see what you got. Don't stretch it too much. This one's about 20 inches. So, and that'll be about three inches down from the ears, three and a half, and that'll be your swelled measurement. So I measured this before and then plus that measurement. Those are the only two measurements I really need.